Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone. Today we'll make Egyptian colocasia. Uh, of course, we'll get uh, the roots of colocasia. I I want to see. Uh, I want you to see it before we cut and clean. How it come? And this is Egyptian. You see. And we need onions and garlic. Everything is ready. Just we will start to clean and cut now. And this is uh, so it's shred uh, green paper. We'll use it because it will give it uh, the green color of uh, the colocasia. And this is green coriander. You see how fresh it is. And of course, meat we we'll use uh, to make the stock that will cook it and eat the colocasia. In Egypt, uh, we call it uh, ol es. Uh, and it is one of the famous family uh, recipe we can use. Uh, first, we will start to add the meat to the pan just to give it a shock. Of course, we will use uh, meat with fat. The more fat it has, the more it will have better results in uh, cooking of colocasia. First, we give it a shock just to close all the cells of the meat uh, so we can get the, all the juice and better from inside by making this a stock for meat. And here we go, you see uh, the, the outer surface of the meat started to uh, make uh, this layer that will keep all, all the, the juices of uh, meat inside it and it will be tender and nice now we add our boiling water and here we added uh, our uh, soup uh, spices and just I collect them in, in a goose just to be easy to be to remove it bay leaf and uh, uh, coriander everything inside this uh, goes and we here we cut the pa uh, the green paper leaves here we cut from the stem and just we'll add uh, boiling water to it uh, just to, to soften the paper and make it more easy Bismillah. to be cut in the food processor we take our uh, green uh, paper and uh, you see it uh, in boiling water it, it change it into dark green just we uh, just give it in the food processor to cut it and get all the juices of it after washing and the cleaning of our uh, colcasia we start to add, cut it into squares and immerse it in, in boiling water just uh, to lose this you see moisturizer layer uh, because you know it's a root there is a moisturizer layer covering it so i want to uh, get it out by boiling uh, immersing it in boiling water you see how nice the color of these roots, the pink and white, this mix of natural colors. Just now we can immerse it in uh, hot water, boiling water. And we add a lot of lemon juice just to extract this moisturizer uh, layer covering the roots. You see here boiling uh, the colocasia roots here see the beautiful color, the freshness and you can see this uh, layer of moisture is coming out in, in the boiling water and this is what we are aiming to also if we can uh, just let it cool after that we can frozen uh, like uh, separate dishes uh, whenever we need just we get it from the, our refrigerator from the freezer and we get our truck Okay, after we put our uh, green leaves in the processor and uh, blender it, we just get uh, this green juice, you see here. This will give us uh, the very special color of the Egyptian recipe of Bukasi. Uh, and it is a recipe recommended in the winter because it will give uh, warmness, uh, it's a type of family gathering dish. And then also this uh, remaining uh, leaves will not through, just to use it as we will see in our next step. Now uh, our uh, colcas is ready, just we remove it from this boiling water, you see the water become clear, just remove it. Uh, we, you can change the water, if you see the water has a lot of uh, this uh, moisturizer. You can change the water and add another boiling water. 
Now we start collecting our dish with two the onions. Then we get our uh, boiled uh, meat. And then we add our soup. Okay, and we, then we add our colocasia uh, pieces that are cut it and uh, boiled till they are clear. And then we add uh, the green leaves uh, sauce that we get from boiling it and also the coriander sauce. This will give the green color here, the special green color, the fresh color to our dish. and let them cook together till they are cooked we move here to another pan we add butter and we start to add uh, the remaining of our uh, paper of the green leaf and coriander you remember when we squeeze it and get the juices just the remaining we add here And we need uh, to get any water out of it and become dry by the effect of butter here. I squeeze it more and more. This will give a special taste to our dish. And let them to cook with butter. You see how it will be dried and it change from uh, fresh green color to dark green. Take care not to burn it, just keep an eye on it. Just to need more to make it more dry. Here uh, we start in our mortar and vessel to put uh, garlic and uh, dry coriander and some salt and some cumin. And here we go, start to add uh, this nice result to our stew of colcasia. You see here, just we add, it is like celebrating. You see how awesome is the color, the green, fresh color. Just uh, we turn off the light now as a fire now and just uh, keep it on this uh, uh, steam brush. We will prepare the garlic at the end uh, and add it uh, by also adding it to butter and coriander, dry coriander. We used the green coriander in the recipe and dry coriander in with garlic. Okay, we will be prepare the white rice just because it is uh, should be served with the white rice to be beautiful just we keep it to complete only on steam pressure and here we added a large spoon of uh, coriander and a little uh, spicy jalapeno here and uh, the garlic and little salt and a little cumin cumin will enhance the um, uh, flavor of coriander and this is one of my secrets here and then we start to punch them together yes with a mortar and butter here also with a spoon of butter we try to make the coriander uh, I need a t uh, something to, crea to create something that make you feel the, the flavors coming out here the coriander, the dry coriander, with the cumin, with the garlic, oh my god, it's very delicious <laughs> the flavors coming out, I can smell here okay and after we just it will get a uh, golden color I start to add to my uh, stew of colcasia uh, or layers you can imagine how these steps that will lead to the lovely uh, taste of our uh, dish and as, as all Egyptian dishes they are 
very, very rich in components and flavors. Mashallah, very nice smell. Now we have this uh, golden result. Now we start to move it to our uh, Kulkas 2. And here is the celebration coming, you see? This is called in Egyptian style Ta'liya. Ta now it is mashallah already. The mixing is getting together with this garlic and coriander, the green coriander, the ulaise and colcassia root, of course. The meat, the soup, everything are mixing together for our lovely dish. Just I will get a little to try it and taste if it need more salt or anything. Uh, we just uh, keep uh, our uh, stew now away from the fire, just to, to not to overcook it. Just I need this smoothness of the ulas and this tenderness. You see how tender the meat is, very tender and soft. And here it. So just I will keep it away from the fire. Just I try to taste it. You see here, mashallah, how tender and smooth. You see very soft. Mm, very delicious. Very. Of course, you can serve it with uh, Egyptian bitter bread. I can't resist. I'll take more. Alhamdulillah. Very nice, mashallah. And of course, this sauce over the white rice, Egyptian white rice, or with bit bitter bread. Very nice. Very delicious components together. Waiting for your comments and your trial. This recipe really, really deserve the efforts and the component in it. Really, uh, I'm waiting for your components, uh, trials, uh, and uh, your comments. Um, see you with another Egyptian delicious uh, recipe. Ma'asalam.